You might uh, heard of uh, Bayesian statistics or uh, Bayes theorem or uh, Bayesian probability. So basically, Thomas Bayes was uh, Bayes was uh, an English statistician and a philosopher uh, who lived in this uh, 18th century. Uh, basically, he was a pre-Bayesian uh, minister. Actually, it's kind of special uh, sect within the Christians. So they he was a minister. A minister was somebody associated to the church, priest or something. So he's known for uh, this Bayes theorem. So that relates actually the current probabilities uh, to the prior probabilities. And this is the picture of Thomas Bayes. Uh, Bayes uh, showed how to use new evidence to update beliefs. So actually he was working on faiths and beliefs and uh, he wrote some manuscript uh, which actually he did not present for any publications uh, though that work was later on restored by Richard Price. Uh, so the manuscript was titled as an essay towards solving a problem in doctrine of chances and where he gave some uh, relations which nowadays uh, we are using uh, in order to find those conditional probabilities. So Bayes theorem is a simple mathematical formula uh, which is used to calculate conditional probabilities. So it relates actually the current probabilities to the prior probabilities. So let's go and talk about what those uh, probabilities are. Prior probabilities are, uh, uh, they, they represent the best guess uh, before we see the data. So um, we are expecting the data, but before that we have some, uh, we, are, we are having some guesses. So for example, um, you, you are interested in finding uh, some number of fruits in some, in some farm. So you might know the previous record of that, that farm. So before getting the fruits, you can get, give some guess that uh, this much amount of fruits we will be getting. So that thing is called as prior probabilities or priories. And uh, posterior probabilities or posterioris, or in uh, other way of saying is, uh, they are uh, the probabilities derived from the data. So once you see the data, uh, you get um, the, the, the numbers out of it, and then you draw those frequencies from that. So in that, in that case, we call those probabilities as uh, posterior uh, probabilities. So here is the example. There is a hypothesis that a die is loaded. So posteriori in this case is that uh, probability of the hypothesis given data. So we see three sixes in a row and then uh, while looking into these three sixes which is already given. So data is already given and now you are giving your hypothesis on that. Okay. So you, you see three sixes and you suspect that die is loaded. So in that case, you get the data and now you are deriving some probability. So that thing is posteriori or posterior probability. The other way or the second form is likelihood where you can have a probability of the data given the hypothesis. So you know that your die is loaded and now you are looking into or you are guessing for how many sixes you will get. So what is the probability of getting three sixes while the die is loaded? So this is in comparison to the previous one. So you see three sixes and now you are suspecting that your die is loaded. Uh, here is the formal definition or equation for this bias theorem. So we have x while y is given by y while x into x divided by y. If you know um, three of them, you can calculate the fourth one from here in this equation. For example, here x can be that the die is loaded and y is your observation. So that is your three sixes. So here is an example to illustrate that. So we have an occasionally dishonest casino and that uses loaded die 1% where a 6 comes with the probability of 50%. So you might not be uh, familiar with these kind of examples, but this dishonest casino example is mostly used in our probability book. So what happens over there is that uh, they can play with the fair die and they can also use with the loaded die. So here is a situation where we have a loaded die 1%. So they, after around 99 throws, uh, they change the die. And then uh, we, once we have that loaded die over there, uh, the probability of getting 6 is 50% or half of it. So we can draw the probabilities from this situation. So probability of uh, getting a die which is loaded, which is P of D loaded, is 1 by 100.01. And conditional probability, this is obviously the independent probability. And here it is dependent or conditional probability. So probability of seeing a 6 while die is loaded is 0.5. So we want to know the posterior probability that a die is loaded. 
and we observed three sixes. So how can we calculate that? So for that we can use this Bayes theorem. We can use the equation as p of x while y given by y while x into x divided by y. So we fill up the equation as per our data. So this is the thing in which we are interested. We want to know whether the die is loaded while we are observing d sixes. So we read it as p of d loaded while d sixes. So that will be given by this. It's the same as uh, is equal to a p of three sixes while d loaded into p of t loaded divided by three sixes. When we solve it, we get this answer. So we plug in the values and uh, the probability is 21%. So what it shows to us, uh, what we conclude from here, that uh, seeing just three sixes, should we conclude that our die is loaded? Just look into the probability. So it's around 20%. So we cannot be saying for sure that it is loaded since the probability is low. But while using this theorem, we can calculate the probability of our hypothesis. So we hypothesize that die was loaded while we solve this equation we get up this value and then while looking into this value uh, we can either you know confirm our hypothesis or reject that. So in this case the probability is low. So Bayes theorem is a simple mathematical formula used for calculating conditional probabilities and it relates the current probability to the prior probability.